Do you utilize Box for your file storage and sharing? Well, let me show you how to integrate it with JotForm workflows. Hey JetFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize Box for your file storage and sharing needs, and you also utilize workflows for your approval process, you can now integrate the two together. So I'm gonna head up to the top left-hand corner. We're currently in my forms, but I'm gonna jump over into my workflows. Then we'll create a workflow. And for this, I'm just gonna do a simple one-step approval process. So we see a really nice bird's eye view. We have a starting point and we're going to choose our form. Once they complete that form, we have the approval process. We have approve, they'll get an email and deny, they'll get an email. So let's go ahead and choose that form for our starting point. Now from here, we can choose a form or we can create a new one. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one from scratch on the classic form. And I'm just gonna bring in full name, email. I'm gonna bring in file upload and then we can rename this file upload and we should be good to go. I'm gonna jump back over into our workflow process. We have that form, it is now good to go. Let's go ahead and get our box account added in. So over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna choose integrations. We have box and then we have send files. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in right under the approvals. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything connected real quick. Now let's complete our box settings. Let's go ahead and authenticate. Now, right at the top, we have enter the folder name. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this file uploads. Next, it wants to know if we want it to create a subfolder for each submission. Totally up to you for this. Let's go ahead and turn that on so we can see what that's going to look like. We have the submission ID and we can also pull from the form fields as well. We can add in that form title if we'd like. Next is to send the submission PDF to Box. So yes, we definitely wanna do that. And if there are any upload fields, do we wanna send that as well? Yes, we do. So let's go ahead and publish and we'll open in a new tab and give this a test. We'll do our good friend, John Smith, and we'll browse for a file and we can submit. Now from here as the approver, I am going to get an email to let me know that I need to come into my inbox and approve or deny this request. But since I'm here, I can easily jump over into my inbox. And here we see John Smith, he is in progress. We have some action required. I can review everything that he submitted. I'm gonna go ahead and approve. And since we have that box integration, we will also see that there is integrations running right here. And the great thing about this is I don't have to go to box. I don't have to log in. I don't have to search for where this file is going to be. It's going to give me the link directly to this file. So I can click here for it to open box. And here is the PDF version of our submission. And then we also have access to the file that they uploaded right here. And it's really as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to integrate your Box account with JotForm workflows, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.